guys, it's Dana with Fabulous Style, and I'm here with a haul video. Uh, this is things I found at different uh, thrift stores, and I have a handbag rehab to show you. <laughs> so, uh, why don't I start with the handbags that I recently kind of redid. I found this one a while back. This, I think this is a, it's a vintage coach. Willis Station, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> um, I need to do more research to find out which um, style this is exactly. But I, um, this was, it was in pretty good shape, but it just wasn't like black, black anymore. You know, it had kind of faded a little bit. And then I also found this Coach Ridgefield. And I wish... I had taken pictures of this before I rehabbed it because it's just made such an amazing difference. I um, love watching It's Hadrian. He has, he does all kinds of handbag rehabs. He has in the past and now he's kind of started doing those again and they're so much fun to watch and he's so knowledgeable on how to fix and fix up handbags. But one of the, you know, the most basic things he talks about is just conditioning your bags. So that's what I did with both of these. I have a um, leather cleaner conditioner and went over both of them, gave them some a moisturizer. And this bag looked a little bit better, but it was pretty, there's not any like wear worn spots. But you know how these, you know, this thick glove leather can get... Um, that really dried out, you know, lighter color to it. Well, I bought, I went to Walmart and I bought the Kiwi black leather dye and there's the spon spongy tip part to that. I just went all over this entire bag. I went over the strap, even the little hang tag. Um, I still need to go back in. I think there might be a little bit of dye on the brass um, fitting here, but Anyway, it just turned out amazing, and I love this bag. I just recently found a coach bag similar to this, but it has a top handle. I love that, and I even, that one was in really good shape already, but I went ahead and just went over that with the Kiwi dye, because it looks so good. Did such a great job. But anyway, this bag is really nice. This is a perfect bag for thrifting. <laughs> um, it has a nice big pocket here. A big compartment here and there's a zipper pocket and then on the back is a slip pocket that's nice and big I like when I'm thrifting to have a crossbody and then have my purse inside of the back pocket my purse my phone inside of the back pocket so I can easily I pull it out constantly looking things up and for some reason it's just so much more difficult <laughs> to put it inside the bag um, so anyway, I found this and it looks fabulous and I will be listing this um, soon on eBay and Poshmark. And then also this bag, this turned out so much better. In fact, I'm wondering if, see, cause like this, the suede in here, it looks black, but it has a tinge of green to it. But this is, it was still too dark to be the green. So anyway, I think it was a, it was a black, you know how black has so many, there's like purple undertones or, or green undertones. I think this just has a green undertone in the black color. So it turned out nice. I'll be listing that one also. Um, this is a pair of shoes that were new to me. I've never heard of this brand. It is United Nude. And these are the hybrid faceted I think they might be called wedge flat and they're in really good shape they have hardly any wear they're super cute I mean I I think these are adorable they're just I tried them on and they're really comfortable they're just like not quite my size so anyway they're size 39 and I got those for 750 those coach bags I think each of those I found for like less than $10 in thrift stores. Well, especially because they look so bad. I think the one was only $6.99. <sighs> so 
so these, this is a, this is a cute pair of shoes. Although I've heard point toes are going out, but I'm sure there's still some ladies out there who like to wear a point toe um, dressy shoe to work. These are Stuart Weitzman. I don't buy all Stuart Weitzman, but I try to buy, you know, the styles that I think are still pretty modern and, and look nice and good for work. So you always have to, if you work in an office, you're always looking for um, nice, comfortable, but stylish things to wear. Uh, this was a new to me brand, this booty. It is, I don't even know how to say it, Estilo Imperio. Imperio. You can, it's in silver, so it kind of lights up a little bit in there. But um, it seems to be a nice brand. They're, um, they're really soft leather. They're in good shape. Made in Italy. So pick those up. I don't know. I probably paid like $8.99, I'm guessing, for these. Uh, this pair, these were $5. The Stuart Weitzman, they were half off. And then I also found the same day this pair of shoes. These are made in Portugal. Um, they're chocolate. Today I saw a purse from this brand. I think it's the same brand because the the font was the same. But the purse didn't seem like a very nice brand. And when I tried to look these up, you know, chocolate is so vague. So I couldn't find any just like this. Um, but these, they seem to be, you know, like a really nice European type um, shoe and they were on clearance or half off for five dollars and they have the little double buckles up there so hopefully I can find more information about those uh, this purse I bought yesterday uh, for $9.99 it is a lucky brand so it's extremely soft and I like it, it has Pockets, kind of a smaller, well, it's, they're big, deep pockets on the outside, and then the inside opens up nice and big. The store had it stuffed with tissue, but um, this, if you're not familiar with the Lucky brand tag, it, I think this is the same tag I've seen in every Lucky brand purse I've bought, so and they're always such soft leather. And I will probably show this to my daughter before I list it because I know she likes the Lucky Brown brand bags. Um, this is a Matilda Jane. Cute little top. It's got this ruffle at the waist. And down. I thought that was a really pretty print. That was just sitting on the end of a rack. So somebody bought it and then put it back. Um, these were half off, so I bought these dojos. They're a size 26, and they have some definite wear um, to the bottoms, and they've been let out, so it's an uh, open frayed hem. So if someone doesn't need them this long, they could um, hem them back up. This, I have two things. Okay. I can't see the other one, but this is a cool skirt. This is the back. This It's that Deseguel, Deseguel. <laughs> I, I don't know how to say the brand. That's the back. It's got this cool print, though. But these girls, I don't know. This must say flowers, ideas, people. Um, anyway, see like this girl is leaning over and that's her hand handbag or weights oh she's got like produce in a bag <laughs> and this girl's kind of all snaky it's kind of cool the print on it and then this is the front with the bright color dots and then the name embroidered there and then kind of a cool ripped looking hem and then I got this Clara Sun Woo dress. Seems like most of the Clara Sun Woo stuff I've seen has been more evening 
looking, although I did sell just a plain black blazer. It might have had some sparkle on it though, but this is just a long sheath. It's got kind of a wrap dress look to it, but it's just straight front and a nice plain black back. And then it's got these little like flat sequins. And I couldn't pass up this dress. I really don't like selling evening stuff, especially like ball gown. <laughs> I just don't, I, I don't know how to photograph them well enough because uh, I can't get far enough back. I just, my, the area for fo my photography area just isn't that big. Um, but I will do my best to take pictures of this beautiful dress. It's a strapless dress, but it does have the little um, loops. You could add straps. And it has this beautiful, very slimming um, seaming here. And then if I could hold it up high enough, it actually goes down to like a mermaid um, hem at the bottom. So it's just beautiful. And in the store, I hung it up and I held it up. I was trying to look to see if there's any rips or anything. So this is like... It's like a mesh lace, and then it has a sequin sewn onto it. So, tried really hard to see if there were any sequins missing. I didn't. I couldn't find any missing ones. Um, Camille Lavi is the brand. It's got a little jewel right there. I thought that was kind of neat. I've never seen that on a clothing label. And oh, I did pick up this little Brighton. Um, bag mostly because of the added decoration <laughs> but it's just one of those little organizer kind of wallet type things you know there's a spot for ID and your cards this is a big zipper pocket and is this a pocket in the front no another zipper pocket here and then somebody on the little um, heart zipper pull They've added this. This is what I saw first. And I thought, that is so adorable. So I'm just going to leave this on here. But it's a little like a warthog. It reminds me of Pumbaa. I just saw the Lion King. He's definitely got little horns off of his snout. He's just so cute. But someone added that. And then I do like the, the front detail there. So, in the crossbody bags, you know, everybody needs a little crossbody for traveling. This bag is like a faux snake skin print. And it's this, I don't know if this is called B-Rin. B-Rin? Show it to me. <laughs> ah, fighting with it. I've never heard of this. I looked it up. They sell pretty well. In fact, one of these bags exactly like this was listed for like $450 as snake skin. But I don't think it's really snake skin. I do think it's leather. There's lots of them listed like in the $30 to $60 range. Um, just a leather bag. Oh, this I was so excited to find. Uh, this was only $6.99. So, so was that. Actually, I think all the purses I buy, for some reason, I always gravitate to the ones that they mark $6.99. This was $6.99. It's a Perlina, beautiful. Um, on, on camera, it's looking more of a gray blue, but in person, it's actually has a little more of like a periwinkle, like a lavender, light blue color to it. I love this color. This bag is in such good condition. It's not... There's no wear on the bottoms. The straps look great. It's nice and clean inside. I may have to use it myself for a little while. Maybe it'll be my fall, my fall bag, my early fall. So I've been carrying a bag that's kind of off-white for summer, a big tote. So I thought that was pretty. I did not look it up. I have no idea what it sells for, but I love Perlina bags. They're kind of hit and miss. Uh, this is an interesting bag um, that I found. It's a brand called Chloe and Lex. Lex. 
and they upcycle fabrics. Now, I, I think what they do is they upcycle the fabric and maybe are reusing leather from other things because I saw, I saw another bag exactly like this. It has the exact same thing. It says immigration arrived October 11th, 2008, and then this airport in Australia. So I don't know if that's a stamp they put or if there, there was um, fabric that had this on it, you know, some kind of, what would it be, a bag or something? Um, but anyway, it does have a little bleach spot. So I don't know if that was original to this bag or if that happened later on. So, um, but those bags, they actually have some really cool upcycled bags. I love stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna keep looking at Chloe and, and Lex bags on eBay, but the back just has a zipper pocket. This I found, um, some of the stores in the summertime around here, the thrift stores, will have a rack of festival clothing and that's where they put like all the boho stuff. And this was on that rack, this bag. And I don't know if this is a vintage bag. I don't think so from the tag, but it kind of looks like a vintage bag. This is the back actually. This big bow and it has these tassels which are fully beaded and then it's just like a mesh fabric on the on the other side. It's this kind of crinkled mesh. That's the back. This is the front. I thought this was so cute. I mean, I I could I could use this, but I don't I don't go to fest. I have no I haven't been to a festival. Um, I love to go to outdoor concerts, which I have not done this summer, and summer's almost over. It got away from me. So anyway, two bows on it, and here's the brand. Yeah, I don't think this is a, because it's like a canvasy inside, and it's this antique botic. Anyway, I did look it up, and I think I found a bag very similar to this that had sold, but I don't remember for how much. So I need to. I haven't I haven't photographed any of this stuff. So I'm hoping to get it all listed this week, but I don't know um, when or if I will actually get to it. And this dress, I've never heard of this brand, but when I saw this dress, it reminded me so much of uh, when my husband and I were in California last year near Los Angeles, we went to the Getty Villa. They have tours there, um, but it's like a Roman, it's a replica of a Roman villa that had been um, destroyed during the eruption of Mount Vesuvius but it was near there. And so it was encapsulated in lava or whatever, and they've excavated it. And then John Paul Getty had one built in California. And we went, that's a museum now, and it's just amazing, especially if you take a tour and you have actually have somebody explaining things to you. But this dress reminded me of a lot of the women that were there that you could tell they, I mean, I guess I was just assuming they were visiting from other countries and um, a lot of them had on these silk dresses that were out of like these silk, these scarf print um, silks. And that's what this dress is. So I don't know, I'm assuming this is vintage. It's just beautiful though. It's got such nice details, those ruffle on the arms, all covered buttons. It's this, um, Leonard Studio of Paris and it was made in Italy and it has ruffles around the collar here it's just so beautiful in the back you know the scarf scarf print on the back and what's really cool and what caught my eye and why I really bought this was the tie belt that thankfully was still with the dress and the belt has Ooh, if I can get it in here um, it well it says you know the name of the the company 
Leonard, Leonard, Leonard Paris. And then this is, these are little chains, the tassel part. So I thought that was cool. I've never seen that on a dress before. So just seemed like super high quality. And I bought that. Um, a brand I've been picking, I, well, this is the second piece that I've found. I don't buy a whole lot of athletic wear, but this brand, if you see this V, I assume the name is pronounced virus. Where's the, I just had it, Hi, virus. But the, the other pair I bought were men's running leggings. And so these, I don't know, are running tights. I don't know if these are like specifically for running. I need to look them up. I was able to find the exact pair of the men's virus. Um, but these, they have pockets and then there's little mesh panels. And on this leg, it has the logo there. So I didn't take the time to try to look, look it up. I just grabbed these when I saw them. And I found this pretty little dress and I was trying to look for a photo of the actual dress and I haven't found it yet. So I need to look and see if the inside tag has a style number, but it's pretty privacy please. <laughs> Size medium. It's just a cute little like low, low V dress. I saw a couple just like this listed, but they were wrap dresses. And this is not a wrap dress. It has super long um, ties that must wrap around your waist a couple times, but it's a, it's a little dress. And then I found this one for myself. I'm just have it over here because I need to steam it. But I just love the print on this dress. It's just one of those kind of breezy um, rayon dresses and it's from, you know, it's just probably like one of those brands that you can buy dresses on Amazon. But I just thought this was so cute. I think it'll be really cute with like a jean jacket over it. Um, so I need to steam that. And then, so I showed those shoes. I have a few more pairs of shoes. I can get to them. These are um, men's bed stew, which I think the women's bed stew shoes do better. I did find a pair of these on eBay that had sold and they didn't sell for a whole lot, but they're, you know, they're meant to look distressed. The bottoms look like super worn, but I think it's just because this color has worn off. Um, so I did condition these the toes looked pretty good, but again, I think they were made to look distressed. So, <laughs> uh, so someone who knows bed stew and is looking for these shoes should hopefully know that that's how they're supposed to look. <laughs> Then I found this adorable pair of Tory Burch um, heels. They have the black patent leather on the heel and the toe, then their black quilted leather. They have, let's see, the Tory Burch logo, if I could catch the light. And it's on the bottom. These were half off. They were five dollars and I don't know if it's because people thought they weren't real or if it's because they noticed that the little Tory emblem has broken off which is so frustrating it's broken off this one too <laughs> so I don't know if these this girl was just like super hard on the back of her shoes <laughs> so there's not a whole lot of wear back here so uh they're size seven and I'll just disclose that this was broken off maybe Whoever had them before just didn't like them back there and so they broke them off. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I found those. Have to figure out what to price them at since they don't have the logo. And that's about it. The only other 
thing I'm going to list are these Jambu uh, wedge booties. I found these in a thrift store last year. They're like kind of a half a size too small for me and I wore them anyway. Then I ended up buying or just ordering some shoes um, off of their website that I love. So this year these can go bye bye. We'll try to sell those. And I think that's it for this haul. Um, I did want to mention though that my friend here on um, on YouTube and a lot of you might know her because she it's Vanessa Heron. She has started selling or she's been selling for a little while on eBay. She sells um, on, not on you. She was selling on eBay purses and clothes. Well, now she, she had to stop that, so she started a pop-up store here on YouTube, and um, I've watched a few of her videos, and she's I'm getting a bracelet from her. She's super nice, and you can 100% trust her. Um, she's selling, I think she's going to continue to sell purses and jewelry through her pop-up here on YouTube, but she has been such a supporter of YouTube. I watch different people's videos and she's always commenting and she's so positive and just such a great um, person in the YouTube community. So I'll put her um, a link to her videos down below. And so if you're interested in buying, um, be she has beautiful, beautiful jewelry. She lives in Florida and she picks up, finds some just gorgeous things. And so I um, just wanted to mention that because she's been wanting to start a YouTube channel for a long time. And, and so I'm really excited for her that she's been, she's doing great selling on there, on here, on YouTube. So um, I just wanted to, to mention that and thank you so much for watching my video. And um, I have more stuff I need to make a video for. So hopefully I can get that done and please subscribe. <laughs> I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> um, I'm getting pretty close. So, um, so I really appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.